Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? It's Kodorushpin here, and today we're going to be doing some solo attacking, but I want to go ahead and kind of give you an idea of what I'm using. So I've got four familiars now, and I wanted to go ahead and kind of show you what would happen if I went out and actually attacked somebody that had 1.4 million troops with some solo attacks. You know, I know it's been a little while since we've actually done some solo attacking on the channel, so I thought I'd go ahead and kind of give you a breakdown of all the different... Um, uh, battalions that I use. Um, I always like to use 50%, uh, you know, like, I, I honestly like to use 50,000 tier 3 buffer, and then I just put the rest into tier 4. I like to put 4 units into the other types, and then this is kind of what I use for attacks. Obviously, it's not all of them at way maxed out yet. Um, I do happen to have the Black Queen familiar for my range, which is kind of nice, so we can kind of get an idea of how good and how strong that's going to be, even though it's on level 1. I mean, it's not completely maxed out by any means but uh i thought you know we'd go ahead and kind of play with what we could actually manage with this now of course i don't know a hundred percent on how well this is going to do but i thought i'd go ahead and show you this is kind of like what my stats look like for the different gears i have like 300 ish for my infantry and range and then my capsa is the best one i have which is almost at 400 percent in terms of stats on the attack step anyway so, essentially, uh, what, what I ended up doing is I went out and scattered a bunch of players all over the kingdom. All right, now, D5 Zepe is the guy that I ended up targeting. Now, this guy here is 206 million might after the fact, all right? And he was wearing monster hunting gear at the time. He wasn't really paying attention, but as you can see, when it started, he had 225 million. Uh, so, what I like to do is I like to test and see what they have. So, a lot of the time, I just throw what I call, you know, I don't care troops, basically, so I'll throw in like a little bit of tier 3 maybe. I'll throw in some tier t uh, tier 2 or tier 3 or even tier 4 siege, because essentially I have to get that wall down in order to really see what he's got for a front line. So I don't really know what he's got, but I'm going to go ahead and take a swing at it, see if I can knock the wall down with the minimalistic amount of siege that I have, um, and hope that maybe I'll be able to hit his front line to see what front line he is in. Of course, you know, if, and when I do this, right, scouting, sending solos and all that, yeah, I could just send a solo, but I like to be kind of weary of it. I, as you can tell here, I didn't knock his wall down, but I did weaken it. So it's down to 159k, so at this point I figure, okay, we'll go ahead and take another swing at it. But this time I'm going to throw some tier 2 in there, because I figure at the very least what I'll end up doing is I'll at least hit his front line for sure this time. No question. All right, we're going to just do as much damage as we can. I'm wearing speed gear, so that way it goes as fast as possible. But even with speed gear, Siege is pretty damn slow. Uh, so I'm hoping this guy doesn't go online and, you know, goes on a berserk spree. Because he's got a fair amount of resources in there that well, we want to grab. I see some grunts, so chances are he's an int front line. And you can see his comp isn't very, like, it's not very good. Like, if, if he's in infantry, that's a really weak comp to be in. Now, what I didn't realize until after the fact is that yeah, there was always a possibility he's in Cav Wedge. Now, unfortunately, because I didn't swing him as hard as I could, I didn't really know. But I figure, okay, well, I have at least a starting point. So we'll pop a 50% boost. We'll go ahead and swap out for an army attack boost here. And then we'll just go ahead and take a swing at it. Because the what's the worst that can happen, right? So I went ahead, went infantry. Because my theory here is, is if it's infantry, right, then hopefully what will happen is I'll hit his infantry, and then what will come next is his cavalry. That's the hope. So I'll smack infantry on infantry and knock that out, and then hopefully I'll be able to get into those calves. And like theory suggested, I ran into the calves, which is what I was ex hoping for. Now, of course, you know, when I send infantry, could I have done it better? Yeah, I probably could have done better by just sending cav. Uh, or even sending range would have done significantly better, but I figured in, just in case, in case he was in wedge, then I would at least, uh, you know, it would it would deter that, you know, from actually hurting me if it was. So it's always a gamble. I really don't know exactly what I'm going to be hitting when I hit it, but now this time I know what he's hitting. So range, and there's 757,000 dead and one single solo. So I knocked out all his tier four cav, all of his front line, basically. And now really all he's got left is infantry. But as you can see, the hill bill here is not terribly great. Uh, so there's like 35, 54. Uh, so I basically, to make even on this guy, I've got to get more than that amount. 
And so a little pricey, obviously, but not not so bad in the end, really. Uh, because, again, I'm getting kills here, guys. It, I already got a couple million kills right off the bat from hitting this guy. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and finish him off. So with this one single solo, we're going to go ahead and speed it up, swap to infantry gear, and let's see what we got. So we got his leader, 398,000 dead, just like that, no problem at all. And so, again, this is just with 1.4 million troops. Um, a pretty easy target, uh, to say the least. Obviously, you know, the better the target is, or per se, the easier he is to knock out, the better. Now, this guy happens to have like 500 mil, so I'm going to go ahead and try to zip out his resources as fast as I can, wearing speed gear and sending all the high-tier army capacity units that I got, trying to get as much of those resources as I can possible. Because, you know, if, if I don't clear him out fast enough, then there's a chance he can shield, which I don't want to have happen because, again, I'm trying to make more than 50 million off him if I can. Because, again, that was the initial kill bill that I ended up having to pay for knocking him out, not counting the troops that killed in the process. And as you can see there, he went ahead and shielded. So at that point, I'm like, well, okay, that, that's got to, I had to have come close. So I was pulling eight, five mil across, which is pretty good. And towards the end, I was starting to really pull in a lot more. But you can see there, I've got 70 mil. So I've already made a gain of about 10 million resources across, at least, just from hitting this guy. Now you can see he's got a lot of resources in there, but now he no longer has 1.4 million troops, and he's down 25-ish million might, which is a good chunk of troop might, really. But it goes to show that if you're if you're not online, not in war here, and you're not shielding, you're gonna get hurt. Now, of course, that isn't to say that it wasn't painful for me. I lost some tier three in the hit, but that's okay because I can Griffin trap when I'm lower on troops, and so it doesn't bother me as much. Um, but in this single hit here, let's go ahead and take a look at the battle and actually kind of get a glance at just how painful that is. Because again, this is when I hit him with infantry. And so that that hit there cleared him out, no problem. But this hit here, I just I'm I'm really fascinated by it because this is when I sent range, and this is with, you know, the benefit of that new Blackwing familiar that I was telling you about. Because I'm really curious just to see how well it does, even on the bare minimum, really. Like, what is it gonna do? So like there, you can see it goes for the largest squad, which in this case was his range, and you can see it, it did take it down a notch. Like it did take a little bit. But I, you can see kind of a flaw in that, right? Which is that if if you're going to be trying to boost damage, right? Which if I'm, I'm if I'm hitting him in range, I mean, stats wise, I'm already near the 400% range, and then I'm taking 400% off the initial plus 60%, right? Because that's what Black Wound Familiar does. Then I'm looking at probably getting a good chunk of damage, but it's, if it's on range, then it kind of nullifies it, right? And that, I think, is kind of what rally traps are going to have to do if they're ever going to take hits from rally leads and stuff like that, is they have to find a way to nullify it. Because like that, that presented it completely useless. But that isn't to say that it didn't do damage. Like, there was at least a good chunk there that went down because of it. And you can go back and look and see how much I lost, you know, how much was lost in that one single hit. But to be honest with you, I can tell it could be significantly stronger had it been cavalry or something else. Now, like this hit here, you know, it's just a matter of clearing him out. Again, I'm dropping him by 40% on both or all three unit types at a time. Like, I don't, I make sure that I get the most I can out of dropping his HP because the debuff is super powerful. Like, the benefit of that is amazing. Now, of course, to add on to that, because I have four familiars, I'm, using, I'm also getting squad attack from Pyrese, which is incredibly powerful as well. No other choices now of course because he was able to shield he got lucky um of course he wants me to give him his leader back i know how to do that i'll do it in a way that i know best <laughs> because i don't keep captors i kill them <laughs> but uh you know of course uh you know i did find another target so this guy here's got three hundred and eighty thousand. and i didn't grab his resources but that, I mean, it's kind of the gist with the new familiar. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and, uh, uh, you know, let me know what you guys want to see. I'm kind of curious, so let me know in the comment section below, uh, because I'm still kind of curious, like, what to upload, you know? It's been kind of an interesting week this week, and I'll see you guys next time.